No plan was more radical than the Park Hill Estate in Sheffield, one of the biggest public housing estates in the country. It would snake across the hills of Sheffield with four huge concrete blocks of flats housing more than 3,000 people and rising to 13 storeys at its highest point. Park Hill was the vision of two young modernist architects, astonishingly both still in their 20s, Jack Lynn and Ivor Smith. They were hired in 1953 and were part of a new breed who believed that architecture had the power to solve society's problems. It was optimism shared by architects, planners, educationists, health workers, every profession that you could think of. So it was a buoyant, exciting place, exciting time to, to be doing anything. It was a modern world, but one that was seeking to solve the problems of the old world without losing its values and spirit. The streets in the sky were the most celebrated aspect of the design allowing residents to walk the entire length of the estate under cover. The architects cleverly used a sloping hillside to create one constant roof level. And the whole Park Hill project was built in just three years. The flats were a dramatic improvement on the old rat-infested, overcrowded and dilapidated slum housing they'd replaced. You got every shop you needed, down on the pavement. Keep fit place, everything you needed. It was a community in a community, and it was wonderful. But what had been affordable in the 60s was a lot more expensive in the 70s. This was a time of soaring inflation, rising energy bills, strikes and unemployment. And Sheffield was in crisis as thousands of jobs were lost in the steel industry. After more than a decade of decline, most council tenants were desperate to get out of Park Hill. The original community had broken down as families moved away. The concrete building was ravaged by the elements, the lifts had broken down, and the shops and pubs closed up. But just making Park Hill one of the biggest listed buildings in the country wasn't going to save it. The listing process can only protect a building from demolition. It doesn't ensure funds for repairs or improvements. So Park Hill continued to decline until 2005, when it was taken on by developers Urban Splash. Only the famous concrete frame is actually listed, which means the key elements of the design, like the single continuous roof and the streets in the sky, are protected and the flats are just being gutted internally. Grenville Squires has been a caretaker at Park Hill for more than 20 years. No one knows his place better than him. I was watching a programme when they were talking about poetry. They said that you've got to care about the things that you write about, so I thought, I'll have a go. Park Hill's an eyesore, so pull it down. It is a blight on Sheffield's town. That's all you hear, that's all they say. Just blow it up, take it away. We need someone with some foresight who does not see it as an ugly blight to give our flats some TLC and put back the spirit they used to be. Replace the concrete, repair that crack, then put the community spirit back. Make it a place we want to see. Please give Park Hill some TLC.